Hi there, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations showing you a little tip on how you use Craft Director Studio or Craft Camera Tools, which is a part of the Craft Director Studio. These here. How do you use these together with the V-Ray cameras, Maxwell cameras, with final render cameras, you know, all of these external renderers how do you use them inside of Maya and 3ds Max Exercise Cinema 4D? Well, it's quite simple actually. Uh, if we begin with 3ds Max here, we call it wire parameters. And the procedure is very, very simple. So I have created a zoom and focus camera here. And uh, next thing I do, I just don't want to confuse the Maya version there, okay the first thing I do here is just let's create a free camera like that, so and just rotate it so that it's side by side like that now as you see here this is the limit where the target distance is and uh, this is uh, the field of view and we want to wire all we want this camera's field of view and its uh, target distance to be controlled by the zoom and focus camera. Now, how do we do that? Well, we select hit from here wire parameters right here at the bottom, right there, and then this one pops up, and then I just choose field of view like that and I select the other camera right there and choose what do I want to wire that field of view to well to this camera's field of view like so and then the next thing it asks me how do you want to drive these well I want to drive it from the zoom and focus camera to the uh, ordinary camera and I just push that one there and connect them so now this one is controlling this value and I do the same for the target distance, like this and like this. So I want this one to drive that one, so I push that one again and connect them, like that. So this means now that both of these uh, values here are driven by this camera here. So if I just select this one to see the first thing you see here is that the target distance has immediately changed to the zoom and focus cameras camera and uh, I just hit record there and uh, what I do now if I, is I grab my Logitech dual action gamepad and I start zooming for example and we see that the the ordinary camera zoom completely follows the zoom and focus cameras for zoom in real time and uh, if I change the target distance here well, then it follows it too so the target distance always moves between these points here that's how the focus autofocus so to speak works and these you attach to other objects then uh, to have a dynamic situation and uh, the, the, the final step that you actually do to make this camera be at the identical position to this one is just to align it to this camera like this use the align tool and align it in every direction and to make it follow this camera let's pretend this zoom and focus camera is now lying underneath an observer cam uh, well what do I need to do with this camera now I need to link it or parent it to the camera that I want to follow which in this case is the zoom and focus camera so I'll link it there and uh, let's just create a an observer cam here just uh, for you to uh, yeah, like that and what do we do with this one well we need to we need the zoom and focus cam to follow the observer cam so we select the zoom and focus cam now and link it to the observer cam. Now we have the proper hierarchy here as we see in this graph 
we see that this camera now, which could be a Maxwell camera, a V-Ray camera, final render camera, any external uh, renderer's camera can be at the very bottom here, the, the uppermost child, lowermost child. Uh, and at the very bottom we have the camera that actually controls the rig and this can be an ordinary camera that you have animated too so if I just hit well, this one needs to be there to get the the simulations in the correct order and then I hit record here and uh, now I can move the camera well I need to bind the observer cam first to a joystick gamepad say like that and uh, now they're all mixed here but I can move it like that and we move forward like that and everything follows and we can see that the uppermost camera here the camera one has its field of view changed or the the focal length for that matter when we change the zoom here now uh, they're all mixed here okay so that's in 3ds max and also the target distance is being changed here as you see like that right over there so that's that for 3ds max now how do you do it in maya in maya it's a little bit different uh, first of all you need to get hold of the cameras here to be able to to wire the parameters with ease here so let's close down that and in this scene we have the same situation I will not create the observer cam in this scene because it's quite obvious how you do that I will just create a camera here right there and let's move it and this is created in centimeters this scene is in meters so we need to scale it up a hundred times to get uh, the right scale in meters and uh, this camera now is the V-Ray camera for example or another camera for renderers in Maya and uh, what we grab here is the transform of the camera so we can't get hold of the the connections for these ones unless we display the shapes also so if I grab hold of the the camera shape here we have the focal length ready and then I shift select the the uh, or actually control select here in the outliner control select that and then I simply there are many ways you can do this with expressions too so depending on how you usually work this is how you do it but here is a graphical way of doing it so I click the connection editor and I find the the uh, focal length and uh, I find the other camera's focal length right there and this one is not supposed to be selected like that and uh, we close it and now and uh, now when I when I change the zoom here and you do the same for the target distance of course if I change the zoom here now you see that I'm actually changing the zoom on both cameras here at the same time as you see here so that's how you do it in Maya and in XSI and Cinema 4D there is a similar way to wire or connect the parameters exactly like I've shown in Maya and Max here and that's all I'm going to show you here. Thank you very much.